We are specifically here to celebrate the 70th birthday of a great lady, Donna Ramsour. My name is Donna Jean Gator Ramsour. I was born in Cook County, Chicago, Illinois, October the 2nd, 1943. My mom, her name was Cora Mae Bell Gator, and my father's name was Hazelwood Gator. I don't remember meeting my dad until I was 10 and once again when I was 33. But I have a sister who's younger than me, Diane, and a brother who's two years older than me, which is Donald. So we are, we're Gators. That's Donald, Diane, and Donna. My mom couldn't take care of us um, around that time. My sister Diane was a baby. My brother would have been about seven, and I might have been five. And at that time, the state came in and made us wards of the state of Illinois. And when we became wards of the state of Illinois, then we were all broken up and put into foster homes. I had a stigma of thinking that, why was I the one that went into foster care? The session had done nothing more than pass this security bill, Social Security Act. The session would be regarded as historic for all time. The New Deal, signed by President Roosevelt, brought about new ideas to America, such as anti-poverty programs like aid to dependent children, established by the Social Security Act of 1935 and later renamed Aid to Families with Dependent Children, offered financially struggling parents an alternative to placing their children in institutions or surrendering them forever. In other words, one must either give their child up or lose them to the system forever. This gave law enforcers the right to go into homes of poor black people and remove the children they felt were being abused. And abuse comes in many forms such as lack of food, proper education, and decent housing. Maybe 12, I was in a matter of four or five foster homes. We were with some families that were very um, abusive. My brother was just beaten within an inch of his life because I was born November the 20th, 1940 because I lived in Evanston, went to St. Mary's Elementary. I was five or six when I was put into foster care. I don't wish foster care on no child whatsoever. But the most thing I remember, well, a woman had a piano. And uh, Donna Jean, she had a piece of paper, and she wrote on the piece of paper. But you know how you write real hard and it made scratches on the, into the piano. Well, I took the whooping that day. Then she put me in the basement with a dumbass dog. I said at the top of the stairs, the dog was at the bottom of the stairs. And 
and I think the most horrible place I ever stayed at when I was in foster care was this lady who, when I wouldn't eat, she would lock me in the um, basement in the dark. And that's why I don't like to be closed in. All I know, Grandma come and got me. When my grandmother found out, you know, she went to the authorities, but it wasn't like they did anything. When my brother was beaten, then they just took us out of that foster home and they put us in another foster home. It wasn't like they did anything. And this foster home people, they had children around our age, and that was the worst because you know how kids can be really mean to you. I was very timid and I had, my feelings would get hurt easily. And people, I just didn't like to be around people a lot. That's when I think I started exhibiting eating disorders. And I was about seven. My mother was very, um, she was a little lady, but she was very angry lady. She was very uh, verbally abusive and physically, but she had a very terrible mouth. And I think I spent my entire life to the day she died. Um, just trying to get her to um, accept me. A lot of it maybe because I look a lot like my father and his side of the family. And my father truly hurt my mother deeply and I don't think she ever got over it. And as I got older and I became a woman and I lived life and I knew pain, I could understand better where my mother came from and I will always be grateful to my mother that she could have never re regained custody of us and I could have lived my entire life in the system or even when she remarried and things were and we moved here to Indiana and she was alone again she could have put us said here take all of you but she never did this she has she always kept us together no matter what. We were provided with a great education. My mom would say one thing, she says, I'll never be able to give you money, but I can give you the opportunity to have a great education and then you take it from there. And so anything that was given to me in the way of learning, I was going to take it. But I have to remember also that my mother was alone when she was with us three, and she's very young, and all she had was my grandmother's and my, and my grandmother's children. My grandmother loved my mom, just like she was her daughter. She took us in and cared for us as if we were her, as if my mother were her daughter. Even though at, by that time, her and my dad were separate. Grandma was a hard taskmaster. But I realize now, everything she did for me, it was for the better. It made me a better person. My grandma was a big influence in my life. And I know you keep hearing me say about my grandmother, she was the most, she was the leading force in my life. She is the person who gave me a sense of self-worth and she is the one that taught me to care about me. And I think without God having put her as my grandmother, I might have gone down an entirely different path than what I chose. When my mother got custody of, of my brother and I, we, he was a teenager and I was like 12. Remember, my mother had remarried and I had brothers and sisters. There's Donald, there's Diane, there's Bobby, Roger, Eileen, Eleanor, Marcella, Joni, Vicki, Joey, and did I miss anybody? And myself. That I cannot feel blessed. With a, you know, I, I wouldn't 
You know how you look back on your life and you say, oh, I wish I could have changed this or I wish I could have changed that. And I think God just made it the way he made it. That's the way he wanted my life to be. I probably wouldn't be the person I am today if some of the hardships hadn't been a part of my life. Speck of dust on our sun Shade our world, shade our world Speck of dust on everyone Save our sun, save our